There is part of him in every piece, and the circle turns. All the basic elements, the earth, the fire, the water, you're a part of it. Beautiful craftsmanship. Traditional hands, Native American jewelry is right on the main road in Cherokee, open several, uh, seven days a week. The jewelry maker, General B. Grant, is a longtime master silversmith. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5.30. WRL News at 6 is next. New at 6 o'clock, the mother of a murdered Orange County teenager reveals new connections between her son and the 17-year-old suspect in custody. Plus, breaking news on a controversial rezoning decision. What was decided within the hour about taller towers in Raleigh? And a flight from Raleigh to the Big Easy for less than $60. The best deals on brand new flights from a brand new airline at RDU. Waves of chilly rain are moving through. WRL's future cast will show us when we're in the clear and when temperatures fall back into the 20s. Take a look outside your window right now. The view is probably just like that. It really hasn't changed for nope. much of the day. So many of us have seen rain on and off today, and it's not stopping anytime, anytime soon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Deborah Morgan. And I'm Gerald Owens. You can see the rain spread all across the dual Doppler 5000. It is moving quickly, at least look according to that image right there. Meteorologist Mike Mays is tracking this system as it moves through. And Mike, we also have cooler temperatures to talk yeah, about. Yeah, quite nippy around the triangle right now. Holding at 49 at an RDU. Sitting at Raleigh Museum Cam looking down at the state capitol. This is the parade route. The Brawley Christmas Parade will have Saturday morning. Of course, it will be dry at that point. A lot of folks having fun. Now, out there right now, we have the live dual Doppler 5000 radar showing rain in our eastern counties, the Triangle, north and west. And there's more to come to our south and west as we take a look at a composite of the different radars around the region towards Charlotte. This is the last bit of rain that will move by about 11 o'clock tonight. I think after that point, things should be dry. So that means if you're heading out this evening, make sure you have something to keep you warm, especially from the Triangle area north and west where it's mighty cool out there right now and have your rain gear too. Six o'clock, the uh, future cast model showing the rain. Seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, still have showers in the area. After we get past 10 and 11 o'clock, this begins to edge on out. Overnight, we'll see cloudy skies. Should wake up to, to uh, cloud cover in the morning, maybe some sprinkles in our eastern counties. Now, after the precipitation moves out, the freezer door is open in Canada. Arctic blast is on the way. A lot of the country is going to be mighty cold, Gerald. I'll highlight that coming up in less than 15 minutes. Okay, Mike, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mark Boyle's watching the evening commute. Mark, the traffic map looks a lot like the radar with all that green. I'm distracted, Gerald, with the Arctic blast. I don't know if I'm ready for that. It is a mess out on the roads here this afternoon, 6 o'clock, and the rain's not helping the situation. You